The South is unique because we got our own little music. The South has been slept on, I feel yes. I think you're absolutely right. Am I here to take charge of that? I'm not here to take charge of it by myself, but I am a part of the movement that is taking charge of it. We're one of a kind, like we go off religion and uh, hospitality and stuff like that. The South is, the energy here is a little warmer. You know what I mean? I mean, the climate is warmer, the people are warmer, you know, and even from a musical aspect, the love you get from being in the game is warmer. We had our own little circuit down here. We had our own little culture, everything going out here. Well, we didn't go outside our market to be looking for nothing. We was good, we making money, everybody doing their thing, you know? We like the most dirtiest of it all, you know what I'm saying? The dirtiest of all people. Everybody like New York is grimy, LA is gang bang, and we just dirty, you know what I'm saying? That's how we like to do it. And the A, like, you know, people show love to each other, so, you know, that's just that's just how we get down out here. Anybody who's coming from the South, period, I got love for them. That's what we represent. Being from Mississippi, being from the South, being from all the Southern states, the truth is, we don't get the same opportunities that other places get. But it ends up being a blessing because we know our business. We know retail because most of the rappers didn't own record stores. You know what I'm saying? I'm my own producer, not because I wanted to be a producer, but because I couldn't get no beats from nobody else. Those artists go through so much down there, and most people don't see it unless you're down there. Mm -hmm. like they can't break a record on the radio. Right. They have to go to the club and get that record popping in a club, and that's almost impossible. Just imagine going to New York and every club, you have to get that record spun. Then once that record starts spinning, then they can go to radio. Yeah. Then once they go to radio, then they can get a deal. I don't need to get signed. I'm going to make my money independently. And when I do sign, y'all going to have to come with it. Nothing but money on my mother mind. Coming from the South, you got to work harder, you know what I'm saying? We already on the bottom, as it is, you know what I'm saying? We stand and we live on the bottom. You know, look at Trick Daddy, you know what I'm saying? He's like one of the biggest in the South, you know what I'm saying? You know, T.I., biggest in the South, and underrated in the month, you know what I'm saying? No, like, they look at him, but like, he ain't, he ain't. A lot of people, ain't. they feel like anytime a down South artist come out, they feel like they always doing crunk music. Like every artist from down south. Like. All the discrimination, all the different things, since people wouldn't give it to us, we had to make it ourselves. What made, which made us self-contained. What made us to the point where as if we lose our deal today, it ain't no big thing. You know, most of the rappers from the south had our four, five, six albums without a major. The reason that a lot of the cats from Houston have blown up recently is because they were prepared as businessmen, not just as rappers with music, you know. They were prepared and ready to play the radio game, you know, the, the studio game, the you know, people game, mom and pops, retail stores, whatever. They, they, they were more ready as businessmen because Houston had had a chance to, to take advantage of the scene and we weren't prepared. We was, we was raised on independent labels. There wasn't no labels, no major labels signing everybody on the same team. What people in the South have done, like that's been a tradition, like out of the back of the trunk, you know what I'm saying? Like it's been like that for years and years and years while people up north were saying, please listen to my demo. Niggas down here was saying, I go on the corner on Boulevard, open the trunk and blast my shit and sell 10,000 units. You can sell 100,000 records in Texas. Texas is a big state. You got Houston, Austin, San Antonio, Dallas. You know, not to mention Louisiana and all the little other spots around the South that represent with us. You can sell 100,000 independent records at $8 a piece. That's almost a million dollars right there. 